हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज की इस क्लास में हम डिस्कस करेंगे अबाउट पेन इलास्टिक कोलिजन इलास्टिक कोलिजन के बारे में हम लोग पिछली क्लास में डिस्कस कर चुके हैं तो हम लोग इस क्लास में ये डिस्कस करेंगे एक क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू इलास्टिक कोलिजन व्हाट यू हैव टू प्रूव प्रूव दैट there is always loss of kinetic energy during in elastic collision you have to prove that there is always loss of kinetic energy during in elastic collision First of all, what uh, is elastic collision? I am uh, explaining you by means of an example. Suppose it is a rigid support by which a block is hung by means of a string. So this is a string, and uh, here is a block. of mass capital m this is a block of mass capital m right so its weight will be capital m g and there is another block or even you can assume it as a bullet of mass small m first of all suppose uh, its initial velocity is zero here i am taking the second body whose initial velocity u2 is zero and initial velocity is assumed u1 okay this uh, bullet or another body is moving towards the this block of mass capital m when it enter to this after collision after elastic collision after elastic collision now it will get embedded and suppose it is inside the block okay to hum assume karenge ki after all ki it is start moving with velocity v and a whole system now whole system is moving means whole system is block and the bullet inside okay so we have to prove that before Embedding this bullet inside the block, its ki jo kinetic energy is, or after embedding uh, in this block, the uh, system ki kinetic energy hogi. Hamme usme relation nikalna hai ki final kinetic energy less hai. So how will you prove that? Now we will do its solution. So as we have already started in elastic collision uh, from the law of conservation momentum, it is known that uh, whatever will be the collision. the uh, momentum uh, will remain same that means it will obey law of conservation of momentum according to law of conservation of momentum conservation of momentum what is it you have first body is of my small m and its velocity is u1 and the body is mass capital m and its initial velocity assumed i have taken as zero if you ask you can take u2 to equals after poly in elastic collision the both body get um, mixed और ये कंबाइंड मास बन गया स्मॉल एम प्लस कैपिटल एम का एंड इट स्टार्ट मूविंग विद वेलोसिटी कैपिटल बी या और सॉरी स्मॉल बी ठीक है तो हेयर नाउ यू हैव एम यू वन इक्वल्स स्मॉल एम प्लस कैपिटल एम टाइम्स वी 
or even you can write test final velocity of the system will be m time u1 upon small m plus capital m. Okay. Now this is assumed as equation number one. And it is known that uh, you have to calculate kinetic energy because kinetic energy will get lost during elastic collision. So first of all, you will calculate initial kinetic energy. What is the initial kinetic energy of the system? Initial kinetic energy of the two bodies, of two bodies. What will be the initial uh, kinetic energy of two bodies? Suppose it is K1. Because second body ki velocity is zero. Hai. Second body ki velocity is zero. Is the yapa kill first body ki velocity is initial velocity. Hogi. That is half m u1 square. And what will be the final kinetic energy of the system? Final kinetic energy is K2 equals half time mass is total mass is small m plus capital M times T square because final velocity is V. Now you have to calculate that K2 is less than K1. I'm assuming that this as equation number two and this as equation number three. you have to calculate the ratio of K2 and K1. K2 upon K1, what it will be? What it will be? Final kinetic energy is one upon two times the small m plus capital M times V square whole upon K1. It is only one upon two times m u one square. Now, what will you do now? Substitute value of v here from equation one. What is value of v? Small m plus capital M, and in place of v, you can put m time u1 upon small m plus capital M and whole square, whole upon half m u1 square. What can you do now? You can simplify by canceling half. And one of small m plus capital M will cancel out from this portion. What will that behind? M is square, U1 is square. After canceling one M plus capital M here, a small m plus capital M, m will left behind times m u1 is square okay now cancel like terms u1 is square will cancel out one of the m will cancel out what will left what will left k2 upon k1 will be how much A small m upon small m plus capital M. And this is final result. How we will uh, reach our conclusion that K2 is lesser than K1? As we know, in this ratio, small m plus capital M is more than that of small m. Because capital M extra is made here. So the denominator bigger, ho gaya, this means K2 less than K1. Hoga. K2 less than K1. Hoga. So, so kya conclusion nikla hamara?
so there is always loss of kinetic energy during in elastic collision understood so this was a final result okay mm -hmm. if you have a problem you can ask me in comment box thank you